Hola, my name is Claudia Garcia Rojas and I'm at Lincoln Hall in Chicago with Luisa Maita from Brazil who just performed as part of the World Music Festival. Um, welcome, I'm really excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a pleasure to me. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so I have a few questions for you regarding your, your background and also your, your recent solo release album, um, Lero Lero. Um, this is your, your, your first solo album, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the process? Um, the process was, I did the album in some years, you know, this is rare, so um, I did with my producer, Paolo Lepici, it's a very nice ba ba bass player from Sao Paulo, and the co-producer called Rodrigo Campos, my main partner in, in music, so... Um, the start of each song, I started with the guitar arrangement with Rodrigo Campos and after that, Paulo Lepici started to put bass and electronic sounds and and he finished the, the song, so this is, was the, the process. So I think in, in the album, we have something common that is this process, the guitar making the rhythm and all the melody and after that all the other instruments in, in, in each song, you know. Not so much f uh, guests in my album, just six persons play it there. We almost did uh, just me, Rodrigo and Paulo. This was the process. Nice. And before that, you had released another album in 2003, but this was with a, a different group, right? Um, and then you took some time off to reflect. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, I used it to, to play with a group called Urbanda. This is, was very important to me because I started to develop men, all my my expression in, 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 in vocal, in my voice, and I started to understand what is, had, have, what is uh, have a band and what is, what is to live, you know, in music. Um, we use it to compose all the, the songs and we use it to produce as well. And um, it was very important. But um, in 2005, I go out from the group and I started to think about my career, my, my solo album. So tell me a little more about Lero Lero. Um, what do you sing about for, for those of uh, your fans that might not understand Portuguese? What, what are, what's, what's your music about? The first song called Lero Lero talks about the friendship between two guys from the ghetto and and but it's difficult to explain because this is too obvious and the thing is uh, the way that you do and that you talk about this um i use it to compose short songs you know i don't uh, i um in most of the songs i i have um uh, uh, a short song with not so many words, with not so many phrases, but I think it's enough to 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 talk about what I what I want to talk about. Okay, and what inspires your lyrics? What inspires me is the communication with people, um, the expression, and um, to understand what what the people are living now and what they are feeling and I try to, to make a conversation with people and try to listen what is happening with the people and I try to talk about something that, you know. Okay. <laughs> um, I also know that you come from a biracial background. Your father is um, Muslim. Ishiga? Your father is Muslim, yeah, yeah. Syrian, uh -huh. and your mother is European Jewish. Yeah. Right. Can you tell me a little bit about how that background plays into your music? 
Yeah. If it does at all. Yeah. My father was, uh, came from a, 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 a Muslim family, but he used it to play samba. So I don't know. I was not influenced by Muslim songs. I was influenced by uh, maybe about personality, about them personality, Muslim personality, and they they talk aloud and they are so alive and this this kind of things, you know. And Jewish is completely different. They just think about you know. Um, they want to 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 it's, it's it's completely different i don't know if i can i can explain but they want to to <laughs> it's a different source of inspiration <laughs> yeah yeah it was different maybe uh jewish music was influenced me more because i used it to to sing in in synagogues and I think that was most important. And my grandmother, that is so Jewish, <laughs> used it to sing, and she's very important in my family, and to me is is important too. Okay, wonderful. Are you currently working on a new album? Yeah. Yeah. I will start the new album when you arrive in in São Paulo. Okay. Um, do you feel that it will be very different to Lero Lero, or do you think it will be? I don't know long yet. I just want to to stop and and understand what what I want to do because we are in right. tour, so very it's very difficult to think about yeah. this. You know, I want to mm -hmm. arrive there and start to think about. <laughs> okay. And so right now you're touring internationally. Yeah. Okay. We made three tours. Wow. Europa, Europe, um, and two here in USA. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so tell me a little bit also about, um, I know your father produced an album, right? Um, do you ever sort of feel pressure in terms of um, the recognition that your father's album got versus, say, the album that you produced? Can you repeat, please? I didn't understand. Sure. Um, I know that your father, he recorded an album, right? Yeah, in 1971. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and it was also similar music, similar style. No, it's not similar. No. Okay. <laughs> no. So tell it's me a little so bit about his style versus maybe your style. Um, I've never um, listen this album before everything that happened because okay. my father never told me about th that album so okay. this is was this is this very wow. strange thing wow <laughs> but okay. he he made this album with 22 years old so wow. was something that he do um completely um you know let's do it okay let's go and he called his friends and very nice musicians from Sao Paulo. Um, in this period, um, 1971, um, Sao Paulo has used it to, to have a lot very nice musicians like Edson Machado, like many, many musicians that, you know, made a uh, part of this album. But he released the album, nothing happened, and he forgot the album completely. And I don't know how suddenly <laughs> the album appears you know this is was very strange very strange because my father and my father was alive he's not alive anymore but he was alive when this happened so what my cd um costs um 300 dollars in usa i don't have this album how the people has this album yeah, it was was very was very nice. It was very. Do you have but it now? now? Yeah, now <laughs> I love the album completely. Okay. I understand why this album is so good and it's so nice, and I'm listening too much this album because one of the musicians has the album in iPod, and I put and okay, my father. But I I I use it to sing with my father, but 
was uh, another period of his life and he's, he used it to sing a completely different music and songs and was different, you know. So I was influenced by, by him too much, completely. And, um, and uh, but it was another period, not the same. Okay, wonderful. Well, um, thank you so much. Thank you too. For talking with Gosamos. <laughs> it was a pleasure to me. Thank your you. Your music too. is very beautiful. Thank I you. love that it's upbeat, but it's also very mellifluous and very beautiful to just sort of sit back and enjoy. Thank you. You can dance, but you can also sort of just listen to it. So. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, good luck to you. Thank you.